is Crystal. I'm going to be doing a quick reading for you guys. Um, I'm going to pull some cards from my Oracle deck. Then I'm going to pull some cards from the Tarot, your situation, your challenges, actions and advice and your outcome. And then I'm going to pull some cards for the signs that you guys are dealing with. And I'm also going to call up the signs that I see. Um, okay, I'm going to pull one card from each of these. So you got surrendering to the journey, release control. Okay, so you might be trying to like control the situation or really trying to just like you want things to go your way, but like the universe just wants you to kind of go with the flow and just surrender to the journey and just, you know, take what comes and just, you know, go with the flow basically. Self-worth, you might not feel so um, good about yourself. You might not think that you are worthy. Other people may put you down and might say some bad things about you. That makes you kind of like um, make you feel bad about yourself too. So don't go believing what other people tell you. You are worthy. You are lovable. So don't listen to those fuckers. And then you have abundance. It's time to celebrate the arrival of abundance in your life. Good news has arrived. This could be financial blessings, spiritual wealth, higher learning, and mastery with a project that you've been working hard to complete. You're about to receive the rewards of your efforts. The fruit of your labors have ripened for harvest. So you might be working a lot and really, really trying to get yourself together, get your finances in order, um, doing what you got to do. The answers you need are coming. This is um, full moon in Gemini. So you guys might be thinking that things are being hidden from you or you might be feeling like you don't know what to do next. But you can always meditate to your own questions. And the uh, universe just wants you to know that the answers that you need are coming. So if you've been asking for like a sign or whatever, like the answers you need are going to come. You have the king of cups. You might be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But I feel like right now you're trying to keep your emotions in balance. You're trying to keep yourself still. Um, or at least just kind of like... You try not to freak out, okay? You try to be like chilled out, yeah, because you're going through some type of stressful situation. But the good thing with the Ten of Swords is like it's the end of the stressful situation, so it's not much longer. You may have felt backstabbed, lied to, other people used you, took advantage of you, you know what I mean? Your challenge is the Wheel of Fortune. There's like patterns that need to stop that might just keep on happening. So you might be feeling like it's a never ending story, like something just keeps on happening over and over and over again, right? But, um, the Wheel of Fortune is something that's faded, and if you're not learning your lesson, and you, you know, you're going to keep on repeating the pattern until we learn our lesson and then figure out a way how to, you know, do things in a better way or an easier way for us. Um, actions and advice is the Ace of Cups and the Four of Swords. It's like, you might need to take a break from um, something or someone, okay? And it's like, focus on your love, focus on your happiness and your health and your wealth and do everything that you got to do for you, okay? The actions and advice is to take a break. You're doing too much, you're stressing too much, you need to get your mind clear. Um, the outcome is the road and the empress. The outcome is cycles ending. So your challenge is the cycles ending, but the world is like a new world is coming for you and you're going to be comfortable. You're going to be happy with the empress. You're going to be able to, this is also about being abundant and like, um, you may be pregnant or somebody might have a baby in your family or close to you or whatever. It doesn't always have to be, but I feel like, you know, in the future you are going to be fine. Um, and this is also like a lot of, bun I think I said abundance. And then you have the emperor. So you got the empress and the emperor, which is, you know, a court pair. I couldn't even think. Um, so you might be dealing with somebody or you might find somebody in the future that is going to be like your other half. Okay. The bottom of the deck is the hermit. This person has learned a lot of things. I feel like you've learned a lot of things. So it might be like the time for you guys to finally reconnect. I'm going to pull some cards to see what kind of signs is here. We got Libra, which Libra keeps on popping up. And I know there's like a Libra moon, you know, we're going through this Libra, whatever kind of moon it is. And you got Cancer and then you got Capricorn. All right. So you got balance the scales, fashion and par partnership, business matters, determined, ambitious. I do feel like you guys are focusing on your work a lot. And then cancer deeply intuitive, sensitive feelings and warm hearts. So you might have some um, interest or, or warm heart towards somebody or just be in love with somebody. And then you got Sagittarius on the bottom. Um, okay. I can't breathe right because I'm sick. Okay. I've been sick for like weeks. That's why I haven't been doing this. But um, I'm going to pull some more cards. What's coming for y'all? The Ace of Pentacles. A new, maybe you're trying to open up your own business. It's a new start. It could be um, a financial gain. It could be money coming in for you. Um, it could be a new home, anything like this. It's definitely something new. you got the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. So love, money, you know, new things, better things coming in for you. I can't even talk. Um, but if you guys like my content, I'm trying to do this quick, so I'm trying to get all signs done today. But if you guys like my content, please like and subscribe. Toodles. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.